Welcome to a deep dive into the fascinating world of memory and misinformation. Today we are unpacking a comprehensive study by Wiley, Patihis, and colleagues. They explored how age impacts our susceptibility to misinformation and compared memory distortions between older and younger adults. As our global population ages, understanding memory in older adults becomes crucial. By 2050, one in every five people will be aged 65 or older. This means more older adults will be involved in the legal system, often as witnesses to key events. Eyewitness memory is a critical aspect of legal proceedings. However, research shows that memory performance can decline with age. The study's goal. Determine if older adults are more susceptible to misinformation than younger adults and identify factors that influence these age differences. The misinformation effect happens when people get misleading info after an event, leading to memory distortion. Typically, these experiments have three phases, exposure to an event, presentation of misleading information, and a memory test. In one classic experiment, participants watched a video of a car stopping at a stop sign. Later, they were misled by information suggesting the car stopped at a yield sign. When tested, many participants incorrectly remembered seeing the yield sign. The study reviewed 39 independent effect sizes from various experiments involving 3,534 participants. Results? Older adults are generally more susceptible to misinformation than younger adults. But why is this the case? One explanation is that older adults have more difficulty with source monitoring, which involves identifying the origin of a memory. This can lead to confusion between the original event and the misleading information. Research suggests age-related decline in frontal lobe functioning, crucial for source monitoring, may contribute to this increased susceptibility. Additionally, older adults may rely more on general memory cues, making them more vulnerable to misinformation. The meta-analysis also identified factors that moderate the misinformation effect. For instance, the mean age of the older adult sample significantly influenced the results. Older adults with a higher mean age showed greater susceptibility to misinformation. Interestingly, the type of event, whether it involved a crime or not, did not significantly affect the results. However, the method of presenting misinformation did. Narratives and photographs were more effective in misleading participants than audio or recall questions. These findings have important legal implications. Understanding that older adults are more susceptible to misinformation can help legal professionals develop better interviewing techniques to minimize memory distortion. Future research should explore ways to improve memory accuracy in older adults. Techniques like the cognitive interview, which uses multiple perspectives to elicit more accurate information, have shown promise in reducing misinformation effects. By understanding the mechanisms behind memory distortion and developing effective strategies to counteract it, we can ensure older adults' testimonies remain reliable and accurate. As our population continues to age, it's crucial to recognize the unique challenges older adults face in memory and cognition. By addressing these challenges, we can create a more just and equitable legal system for all. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the science of memory and misinformation. This video was based on the meta-analysis Misinformation Effects in Older versus Younger Adults by Joint First Authors Wiley and Patahis and Colleagues, 2014. For more information, visit the link in the description.